when I first heard about Flat Earth, one of the first things I did is this here. I went to the beach and it was on an equinox and I pulled a string line 90 degrees from magnetic north and called due east and waited for the sun to come up and here it was here and sure enough it split my string line in half and I was pretty satisfied with that and uh, I've acknowledged the globe's claim of parallel sun rays except for they don't have parallel sun rays I've done several videos on that and here's how they depict it you see the lines that's the equator and Cancer and Capricorn and they're all parallel on a globe but when I go to show the Australian sunrise and I draw the lines perpendicular they quickly correct me and show me how the lines converge toward the equator so straight lines converge toward the equator because it doesn't work the way I'm showing it here apparently they pull from the north like I did in my equinox experiment so okay if your lines converge to the equator then Google Earth should show that. So I go to Google Earth and I go to roughly where I'm at. I go to 2980 longitude latitude in the northern hemisphere and I pull due east and sure enough it brings me by the coast of Africa a little over 6,000 miles. So then here I go to the southern hemisphere and I mirror and do 2980 south and I pull toward the equator same distance about 6200 miles and route the coast of Africa same spot it um, sure enough due east for the southern hemisphere also converges at the equator in the same spot so there's the straight line so I show here it is a straight line and if you are standing in that spot looking due east, you are looking at the coast of Africa, basically. You're not looking parallel to the equator. So they like to have their cake and eat it, too. So that's how they explain their Australian sunrise and all their other shit. But the problem is, is on the equinox, if you're at the equator... The sun rises due east and sets due west and comes straight overhead. Okay? Now, everywhere on Earth, I should be looking parallel with the equator. But I'm not looking parallel to the equator. When I'm looking due east, my due east is converging at the equator. So their parallel sun rays are out the door. They want to have them both. They want to have their east converging at the equator for some arguments and then other arguments they want to have them parallel with the equator but it doesn't work see that straight line so if i'm standing right there on the beach at florida looking due east right there you see that that's exactly due east i'm looking at africa okay and somebody in the southern hemisphere doing the same thing is also looking at africa so you see the problem I mean it's a glaring problem I'd really like an explanation on this uh, I've seen them flip-flop trying to explain but they haven't made it work but there you have it right there there's your straight line from Florida to the coast of Africa 6,200 miles same thing is in the south so our due east are converging they are not parallel so the sun, what should happen is we should be looking parallel with the equator, okay, on the equinox. And where our line of sight hits the sun, if, if somebody in the southern hemisphere, let's say 2,000 miles away, does the same thing, their line of sight, where, where their line of sight hits the sun <clears throat> and where my line of sight hits the sun, should be the same direction it, they should just be 2,000 miles apart on the Sun if we do a, a had a laser beam coming out of our eyes uh, pointed toward the Sun it'd be parallel with the equator and it would our laser beams would be 2,000 miles apart on the Sun if we were 2,000 miles apart if it, everybody looks due east for a sunrise 
on the Equinox. So they tr they've tried to explain this by switching up the times, but I'm only talking about one point in time. That is the sunrise on the Equinox or within that, that couple of days. And uh, here it is again. This, like I said, I should have really recognized then, but uh, since Corey Kell's parallel sun rays presentation just opened my mind up to all kinds of problems the globe model has and they like i said they want to have their cake and eat it too but i, I need if i could ever consider a globe they would have to explain this 